doing? Oh, nothing, sweetheart. Come on in. Is there anything I can do for you? It's been a while since you've come to see your old papa. I just wanted to know if you wanted to go on a trip with me this weekend. I don't know. I've got a lot of business I need to take care of. Please, it would mean the world to me. You know you look just like your mother, and I would hate it when she would give me that look because... So is that a yes? I'll clear my schedule for the weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> but you know you have to let go for me to be able to clear my deck. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Your mom was the same when she'd get her way. Kent, it's been too long. When I say I don't know what I'm going to do with all this guilt in my heart, I have to make things right. Still your friend, Harry. The mediator job? It's fine. It's paying the bills for now. Well, this is quite a ways out. Papa, I told you it was outside of the city. Yeah, but you didn't tell me it's on the moon. It is not that far. <laughs> We're here. Am I not allowed to visit a church? Yeah, sure. Can you go and check and make sure we're the first ones here? I need to make a call real quick. It can't be. What a surprise! It's been a while, old friend. I guess you can see I'm building a church. Don't you dare call me that again. It'll be a cold day and the sky will fall before we're ever friends again. Why did you bring me here? Papa, just listen. I don't have to listen to anything. I know, you're right, and I'm sorry. I should have just... You're damn right I'm right. We're leaving. Go warm the car. Ken, hear me out. Hear you out? The last time I heard you out, I lost everything. I'm sorry about the past. I, I wish things would have played out differently. Played out differently? It happened exactly the way you wanted it to. If it wasn't for me, your damn books would never even got off the ground. And when your mom got ill, I practically wrote book two and three. I know, you're right. Well, there's nothing new about that. I let this go a long time ago. I deserve the credit. I just didn't need it. And I helped you because you were my friend. You were like a brother. And that's why I do what I do. But you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Look, I know I gave your book a, a bad review. And I'm sorry for that. I'm, I'm sorry, Ken. A bad review? You destroyed my career before it even started. And I'd like to know why. Oh. Sure, you could write prose that makes five hours of reading seem like five minutes. But you couldn't keep your hands off what's mine. I wrote that review for one reason. Cat Holstrom. You've got to be kidding. Cat Holstrom? Yeah, I was courting her at the time. You slept with the love of my life. Harry. You never told me you were that into cat. I didn't think I had to. That was a problem with me as a young writer. I, I always assumed my audience knew everything that I knew. Well, cat passed a few months back and she asked me to bury the hatchet. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm, I'm sorry we didn't talk sooner. Doesn't make it right. Well, I didn't think it would, but 
in my old age, I got a new perspective than when I was a younger man to a new ending. So how did it go? I suppose we've got a long enough ride ahead for me to explain. 